Raising a family in the military can be an uncustomary way of life. Tonight, we meet one family out of Eglin Air Force Base. As News Channel 7's Megan O'Halloran tells us, this family is grateful they got more than they bargained for. She was the answers to a prayer we never said. Um, she's completed our lives. Meet Sheltie. Christy and Chad Back say the newest addition to their household has been the best thing for their daughter, Amy. But Shelty is no ordinary dog, and Amy is no ordinary little girl. Amy has refractive childhood epilepsy and has been suffering from seizures since she was three months old. Okay, thanks, Jennifer. Bye. Bad news. Amy has not been responding well to the treatment, but she is responding perfectly to her dog. Shelty, my, uh, my best friend. Affectionately named Shelty because she was rescued from a shelter, there's no question this pup has become Amy's best friend. But Christy and Chad say the animal is much more, a guardian angel watching over their daughter. The dog kept bumping her and Christy didn't understand what it was, but she followed the dog and showed a little hiding spot where my daughter was spitting out her medication. If Amy has a seizure in the middle of the night, Shelty wakes me up. It's like she has a built-in instinct to, uh, to take care of kids. But recently, Amy's canine companion has also seen her fair share of adversity. The tables turned for Shelty when she was bit right here in her own backyard by a water moccasin. A the snake bit on. Yeah. Right here. I told my husband I don't know if I'm worth the $3,000 to save me, but that dog is. Shelty is back to herself again, helping run the household, and the backs are convinced that this is nothing short of a miracle. She said she's the answer to an unsaid prayer, and my brother said, well, don't you know, dog is God spelled backwards. At Eglin Air Force Base, Megan O'Halloran, News Channel 7. Shelty is almost fully recovered from her injuries and helping Amy prepare to take on a new line of treatment.